Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this particular session on the clinical sign of the day. So I'm myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba. I'm the general medicine educator on an academy. So before starting with the session, let me just give you some updates from an academy. So an academy has come up with two important batch courses that is next 2022 and as well as the FMG batch course, the students appearing for December 2021, this particular batch course will be very much useful. And to get subscribed to these particular batch course, you can use my code that is LiveMed, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. And the next important batch course which an academy is starting is the clinical examination and as well as the procedures batch. Right, so this batch is going to start from 15th of September. And an academy has a limited time offer. So these are the durations and these are the regular prices and these are the final prices. And this will be there only for limited time. You can utilize this. And to get subscribed to these courses, you can use my code LiveMed wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. So having said this, let me discuss the clinical sign of the day for today. Now, so the question is, which of the following sign is not associated with this gait abnormality? So you observe the gait of the first. So this particular person, she is trying to walk in a particular fashion. And if there is abnormality of this particular gait, what is that particular abnormality called as? See, what this individual has done is nothing but tandem walking. Right? And this tandem walking, it gets affected in cerebellar disorders. In cerebellar disorders, the tandem walking, it gets affected. So please remember, in cerebellar disorders, you will have the presence of this didocokinesia. And you will also have dysmetria in patients with cerebellar lesions. And you will not have hypertonia in patients with cerebellar lesions. What you will have in cerebellar lesions will be is hypotonia. And in cerebellar lesions, you also have the presence of nystagmus. So please remember which of the following sign is not associated with this gait abnormality will be your hypertonia. So where will you have this gait abnormality? In cerebellar lesions. Now, what will be the homework? Right? So the homework for the day is which of the functional division of the cerebellum is involved in this locomotory movement, right? So she has done that particular tandem walking. So that particular tandem walking is controlled by which particular functional division of the cerebellum? The options are archicerebellum, paleocerebellum and as well as neocerebellum. So please write your answers in the comment section. I will revert back to your answers. So, if you have liked this particular video, please share to your friends, which will be useful for the students appearing for the PG entrance exams. Thank you very much. See you again in the upcoming video.